Okay, everyone, for the last topic in this section of the course, I would like to introduce to you the process of using an HTML validator to check if you were able to follow the HTML schema for the standard specification of using semantically correct HTML in building the document object model of your HTML document. So this just means that we were able to create and give meaning to each of the sections of our documents by maximizing the correct HTML elements while building the architecture of our HTML web page. So let me go and open here the one of the validators. So let me just go and drag it here. I actually opened it already here. So if you're wondering what this will be doing, this is one of the validator that I use for validating if my my website is following the schemas that is set for HTML5. So let's go and open our document here and then copy the code that we have in our document. So I will be including even the the comments here and I'm going to show you here that this will be producing a lot of errors or suggestions coming from the validator that we need to correct so let me just go and copy paste that here and then let's try to go and validate and if we try to go check here and there you go it's telling us that there's an a bad value uh, for 100 pixels for an attribute height on element image so that means that will be located on column line 44 column 9 to line 44 so we have a bad value for the the height here so bad value for 100 pixels for attribute width on element image so again we will talk about on how we can try to solve these issues here i'm just showing you right now that the validator is giving us hints and warnings on what are the things that we should be uh, changing in our document so that we will be able to follow the schematics for html5 so you would see that it has some um, highlighted sections here or parts here that tells us the issue or the problem that we are encountering or the things that we need to correct for us to be able to follow the schema for html5 you can also go to your search engine uh your favorite search engine and try to search for html validator and it will be giving you some options here uh, another mark of validation service will be provided by the w3.org so just go here to the validate by direct input and then try to paste the content of your document and then try to check so at least it will be checking similar with what the validator and you gave you it shows here some errors and it's giving us some instructions here on what should we be doing for these errors i am hoping that you are now more familiar with using a validator so I just want to congratulate you for accomplishing section 2 of our course and I'm really hoping that you are now more familiar with some of the section and contents and you can now use them more semantically in building the structure of your future websites. In our next section, we will learn some of the basic elements that can be used for formatting and other tags that can be used in our project that we are trying to build here and we will be adding some more content into our original stories website.